Rose, and welcome back to another episode of The Royal Family. This is going to be a very fun, exciting, and possibly drama-filled episode. But one really exciting thing that you guys just saw is that Han has officially proposed to Araminta. They've been engaged this whole time, but now it's this gesture that he wanted to do for her, and he was going to do anyway, because I've talked about it before. And then, yeah, I mean, we'll get to them in a minute, so I don't want to get too much into their story, but we will get to them very soon. We are actually going to be starting in Sulani. We're going to be focusing on the kids and Makai and Makai's brother Kona. And then we're gonna go see Han and Araminta. And then we are going to go to Selva Dorada and it's gonna be King Cayman's birthday and it's gonna be a lot of fun. So if you're excited for this episode, make sure you hit that like button. So we are here focusing on the kids. I have actually moved. They're, they're really just here for the day, but so it's easier. I just have all the kids in one household with Kona and Makai. Aurora, she is taking care of the toddlers. I will show you Kona and Aurora's toddlers. I'll just have to show you their picture, unfortunately, because we can't see them. But these are the two twins they just had. So this is their son, Nikau, and then we have Keone. So as you guys know, they already have Nani and Tally. Tally is a toddler. She might be turning into a child, not soon, but like, fairly soon. And Nikau and Kioni, they, I'm sorry, I didn't show you when they were babies, but they are toddlers now, but they are very young. So yeah, that's their twin boys, Kona and Aurora's twin boys. If you forgot who Aurora is, this is Aurora. She's actually Amira's cousin. And she's also Sidira, Queen Sidira of Brindleton Bay's sister. Why are all these random people showing up? Thomas Stratton's just here right now. I know we saw him and Ariana in the last episode, but we'll talk about them in the next episode. But yeah, all the kids are here. So Kona and Makai are actually taking them out for ice cream. We also have how would your queen Lokolani here? I don't know if there's an ice cream machine that comes in cool kitchen stuff. I, I feel like I might be making that up. Since there's actually not really ice cream, maybe we'll just say that they're taking them out for a quick bite to eat for lunch or something. But yeah, so we have all the kids here. We have, if you guys saw our royal kid hangout video, we have the same ones here. So we have William, Frederick, Molly Grace, Jessica, Nani, and Alice May. But yeah, we have all the little kiddos here. I just think Sulani is a great place for them to hang out. Also, Nani is Kona's daughter and Makai is her uncle. So I just think that they like to have fun and they like to take the kids out. So that's why I thought this would be a good place for them. I have mentioned this in one of my Instagram Q and A's. Oh, and they're actually sitting together too. Um, but I kind of think that maybe Jessica and Frederick might have a little bit of crushes on each other. Some people were saying maybe William and Jessica, but I don't really think William and Jessica see each other that way. I think they see each other just much more as friends. And then I did realize that Kaleo is not in the household because otherwise it would have been full, but Kaleo is here. So we we also have him here. And Alice and Kaleo are really good friends as well. Kaleo might have a bit of a crush on her, but we'll have to see how that goes. I really don't think Alice May is, is crushing on anybody right now. I just don't think she's really in that phase yet. She is kind of the younger one out of everyone here. So maybe all the other other kids are starting to like reach the age where they have crushes on each other, but I just don't think Alice May has kind of reached that point yet. I'm sorry, not crushes on each other, just like crushes in general. And then I think I've mentioned this in one of the episodes, I've definitely mentioned it in the streams, but we have had them start their dance classes. So it is Molly Grace and Alice May and Jessica all taking it right now. Actually, Nani, Frederick, and Molly Grace's cousin, Lord Winston, who is Ezra's son, he's also taking the dance classes too. So they're liking it. Alice May loves it. I think she thinks it's more for fun though. And then Molly Grace, I think is really getting into it. Jessica, I don't really know if it's her thing. I think she's more into art than anything else, but I think she wanted to do it because her friends were doing it. Oh, but Jessica is feeling sad. That's not good. Oh, Makai is just sitting here next to her. Maybe you should try to cheer her up. Oh, he can console about death. Oh, she must be sad about her parents still. But Makai is cheering her up, which I think is really, really sweet. Oh, this is Corinne's sister, Marjorie too. I forgot she lives in Sulani also. I'm also gonna have him try to cheer her up. Oh my gosh their relationship is like really high. I really do think that there's this strong bond between them. And oh, poor baby. Oh, Makai's helping her a lot though. She's still feeling a little sad. Come on, Makai, cheer her up. I'll have him tell a, tell a knock-knock joke too. Uh, we just have Leilana here too. I'm gonna have Koda go talk to his cousin. But yeah, Makai is trying to make Jessica feel better. Oh, she, oh right, I forgot. She has the gloomy trait too. Yeah, I do think she is definitely loving the fact that she gets to stay with William and hangs out with her friends so much. I think in Windenburg, especially, Especially, oh my gosh, oh, it's still summer. Oh, I'm so sorry, it's supposed to be fall. It's like the next episode is gonna be winter, but I was taking pictures again and I made it summer.
summer, which I said in the last episode already. I'm gonna change it to fall real quick. Let's pretend, but it is fall. The next episode, it's going to be winter actually. But yeah, now that it's fall, I think that Jessica's really missing like the warm weather, which is why she likes to come to Sulani a lot. And she likes hanging around her friends, but I do think she gets into the gloomy moments. I mean, she misses her parents. I'm gonna have them, they're gonna go cloud gaze though. And Leilana's just chilling here too. Other updates, I mean, I don't know, not really updates, but Samaria and Bellatrix, as you guys know, they're long distance while Bellatrix is in, I almost said Selvadorada, while Bellatrix is in Strangerville, they're doing okay. They miss each other a lot. They've been FaceTiming, but Bellatrix is really busy. She's kind of just hit a dangerous part of her mission. If you guys saw the latest episode of the mini series. And then Makana and Kimberly are good. I think Leilana and Dean are starting to put more pressure on Makana too. Kind of similar to Cornelius a bit, just Makana and Cornelius, they're different. Just because Makana does have the lazy trait, which Cornelius doesn't have. We'll actually get more into Cornelius' story in the next episode too, but he does have the lazy trait. So I think Leilana and Dean have been pushing him more just because they need to motivate him. He's gonna be the king of Sulani in the future. And he really likes confiding in Kimberly, but I think he kind of feels bad. Like maybe he thinks that he's bringing Kimberly down or something like that. So he's just kind of insecure about it, but we'll see them in the future as well. And then yeah, we'll also talk about Corn Farm in the next episode too. But this episode I'm focusing specifically on things we haven't focused on in a while. Oh, Jessica is feeling better. She's feeling inspired now. The guy made her feel better. That's so sweet. Okay, she's good. I'm gonna have her give Makai a hug and just thank him for making her feel better. Oh, they're so cute. Okay, Jessica is gonna go probably talk to Frederick now. Yes, yeah, she went to go talk to Frederick, which is so cute. Also, this random woman, go away. Okay, but Kona is now talking to his brother, Makai. I feel like maybe he's telling him, you and Jessica seem to get along really well. Like, you know that she's looking for a family, like Megan and Kellen, they're just fostering her at the moment. Maybe he's asking Makai if he would consider that. I feel like Makai maybe is considering it. Cause I mean, Makai has really always wanted a family. Him and Jessica get along great. I feel like they have a really special bond. I think he'll have to definitely talk to Jessica about it first, make sure that's what she wants. But Jessica already really loves Sulani and she loves Makai too. So like that is definitely an option. So I think Makai is definitely going to consider this and this will probably come up in another episode. But yeah, they're really sweet. Jessica and Frederick are real cute. All of the kids honestly are just so cute. Gotta see Makai and Kona. I know we don't get to see Kona much, but probably see him a little bit more. He's got a lot of kids. And most of the other families don't have as many kids as Kona, especially for a noble family. But we did this in the stream and our reasoning is those genes, like Kona and Makai's genes have to be passed down. So that's why they have a lot of kids. <laughs> All right, so we are now at Han's kingdom. We're at the Kingshing Palace and Han and Araminta are officially engaged. I mean, they were already officially engaged, but like Han wanted to propose to her because that's what Araminta had wanted before. They had talked about that when they went on their date. Like she had kind of talked about that's how she pictured she would end up getting married with, with like a proposal, like falling in love and stuff. And theirs was just different. That's not what she was expecting. So Han wanted to do that for her. So he had already planned to do that. But then Araminta just like, she wanted to tell him about his sister. She knew she had to. She was just scared to because she didn't want to lose him and she didn't know what Han would pick. Like she just doesn't want Han to feel forced into this, which he doesn't at all. Like he's so in love with her, but you know, she didn't know that. She just wanted to make sure. I think they will still tell his father though about it because I don't think Araminta wants his father to think that her father, Edward Zhao, made those threats to him. But they're so cute. They're so cute. Han's just always blushing around her and it is so adorable. Things have also been going better with Han's father, like his relationship with his father and with his brother too. His father has just been spending a lot more time with him and his brother has like come along sometimes too. Oh, okay. All right. Well, woo they're woohooing. I'll kind of just let them do that. Whoops. Okay. Let's go to, let's go to Azumi and Akio and his fatherly way. So yeah, anyway, Han's relationship with his brother and father has improved a lot. And then Azumi and Akio, they have been trying for a baby. They haven't had one yet, obviously. I think Azumi has been pushing Akio to be like, hey, we should go see if there's something wrong. Like if there's something we could do to increase our chances. I feel like Akio isn't like he's not motivated to do that because I think he might be kind of scared because of what happened with his mother. I think he might be scared for Azumi and like him and Azumi haven't always had the best relationship, but I think now that he's not like angry all the time at Han, I think that's actually helped his relationship with Azumi too, just cause he's not angry all the time. So, you know, that can help a relationship. So Han, are you guys done? No, you're not. Okay, never mind. But yeah, I think they're going to have a dinner with Tai and we're gonna have Tai and her husband Jung and her son Shen come over. We're gonna just do like a small little family dinner to kind of celebrate him 
doing an actual proposal. And also because they haven't really celebrated their engagement or anything like that. And now they're both excited about it too. So it is like three. I think we can go ahead and invite them over. Are you guys done? Okay, he's, oh, he's sleeping. Okay, well, you need to wake up because we are going to invite over Ty and her family. Araminta and Han are still feeling very flirty. They're so cute, honestly. I think Han might have been a little bit scared too when Araminta was saying like, we can tell your father so you can break off the engagement. I feel like Araminta didn't word it the right way. Like the way she put it, Han was like, are you breaking up with me? Like he was so sad and I felt so bad, but I think Araminta just wasn't in the right headspace. I don't think she's been in the right headspace for a while just because of what happened with Anya. Anya is going to be gone for a while. We will see her in the future, but again, it, it won't be for some time. Oh my gosh, and Han is playing with his nephew right now. I'm so excited for Han and Araminta to have kids. Also, their wedding is probably gonna be episode 50, so it'll still be a few more episodes, but I think they're gonna have kids pretty soon after that, and I'm so excited. Han loves kids. He loves his nephew so, so much. Okay, so Han's father, Emperor Lee Wei, he has pulled Araminta to the side, and I think that he's just thanking her for calling him and Akio out for how they were treating Han. His relationship with Han has been so much better. He's been able to have more family time with his kids now too. He's happier. I mean, this is honestly like the most outgoing and spunky I've seen his father. But he's just a lot happier that he's able to form a relationship with his son. He feels bad for missing out. Well, it looks like Han just walked in, but he feels bad for missing out on Han's childhood. Their relationship is no longer in the negatives. It's still going to take some time for the relationship to grow. Han and Akio's relationship, I think they're just acquaintances right now. Akio is still taking a lot more time to warm up, but I think that he's spent some time with his father and with Han too. And that's something that they never really had ever. But yeah, so they're all going to have their dinner party. I mean, that's kind of all I wanted to touch on here. I think I covered everything I needed to, but yeah, we'll let them eat. We'll leave them here for now. All right, we are now at the Salvadorada Palace because it is King Cayman's birthday and he's actually turning into an elder. However, Jabari and Cayman, they actually have a pretty big age difference. So Jabari and Amira and Makai and them, they're not gonna be an elder for quite a while. So we still have some time, but King Cayman is turning into an elder today and we have a lot of our royal here and I also have Amira and Jabari and Alice May and Cedric here because they are staying here. They're just kind of here for like the weekend and also so they could spend some family time all together. And so I also mentioned that Arya, she was grounded until her 18th birthday, but I mentioned in the last episode that young adult to me is 21. So we're not having her like blow out the candles or anything, but she has turned 18, which means she isn't grounded anymore. So she's here at this party. This is like the first party she's been to in a really long time and Gabriel is here too but Naya and Philip are also here so like they're fine with this. This is also Gabriel's sister, Minerva. So they brought her along too, but Gabriel's parents are not here. It's mostly royals. Looks like everyone's kind of circled around Nea. Looks like she's jamming out and dancing. But yeah, we have a lot of people here, which is really exciting. We haven't had a party in a really long time and everyone's just watching Nea. I love this so much. Now the whole thing with Azara. So King Cayman has been paying child support. He still has not told Zamora about the baby with Azara. So he needs to do that. I think Azara's kind of losing her patience too. And Azara is also using Nephthys, their daughter, to kind of get what she wants. Like she doesn't really care too much about her daughter or her well-being. She's more like using her daughter as a tool. I do think that Cayman wants to at least send her to childcare, just like away from Azara, but he needs to tell Zamora. He has to tell Zamora about the baby. So we'll see when he does that. He also hasn't told Jabari about the baby. So that needs to happen as well. It also looks like Alice May and Kaleo are like the only kids here. So I'm gonna have them hang out together because they're like, all right, this is just a bunch of adults. And then we do have Adric and Elon here. We have Adric on the left and Elon on the right. Adric is the heir. He's a good amount older than Elon is. He's a little bit younger than Diana too. So he should be aging up to young adult fairly soon. And now I want to introduce two new characters to you. So on the left here, we have Marie. And on the right, we have Natalia. So Marie and Natalia were made by Kylie. Her gallery ID is L-E-T-T-I. ISU. So they are actually commoners in Salvadorada. They live in Salvadorada. They aren't nobles, but they're also not like poor or anything. Marie has actually worked her way up to the top and that's what she's kind of pushing Natalia to do as well. I'm just gonna be controlling both of them briefly just so they don't leave or anything like that. But as you can see, they're arguing. So Marie, she's trying to influence her daughter to get with Prince Adric because he is the heir to the Salvadorada throne. So she knows obviously 
obviously what that could do for their reputation and for their family and that her daughter would be the future queen. And Natalia, she's really sweet. She doesn't like just using people like this, but her mother has a lot of influence on her life. So, I mean, she's arguing back right now though, but I think she's gonna give in. I think she's going to go talk to Adric. Okay, so she's gonna go, oh no, wait, this is Elon. Wait, where is Adric? Adric is here, so she needs to come talk to him. Maybe she was on her way to talk to Adric, or maybe she got them mixed up. Maybe she thought Elon was Adric at first and they are hitting it off well. Oh, actually they're already flirting with each other. Wait, oh, there's already a romantic relationship between them. Oh my God, wait, where is her mother? I feel like her mother right now is going to be like, no, that's the wrong one. That's the wrong prince. I don't know if she can just interrupt them though. Oh, they are getting along really well. I honestly don't even know if her mother sees this. She's just like, she's literally looking in the other direction. Does she see them? I don't even know if she can tell that her daughter's flirting with the wrong prince. She wants her to flirt with Adric because he's the heir. But maybe, maybe Natalia falls in love with Elon instead. Yeah, they are literally, they're hitting it off so well. They just met. I'm gonna have her flirt some more. She didn't even talk to Adric. Well, that happened. So we'll have to see how that go oh my gosh wait look at cornelius he's so angsty here i think he misses ellis ellis is not here i think he misses him a lot we again will talk about them in the next episode we have this is lady hazel brindleton she's here of kimberly of course most of the oasis springs we have prince consort dean and queen sadira king louis so yeah we got a lot of people here we do need to have king cayman blow out the candles so let's do that oh no wait oh my gosh Azara is here zamora is yelling at her oh my Oh my gosh, yes, I think Azara might have snuck her way into the party. She might have like flirted with a guard or something just to get in. Also, Zamora's blush is like really vibrant. I don't remember making it that vibrant. I don't know why it's like that. Maybe because she's so angry? Okay, but yeah, I think Azara's here because she's just so fed up with waiting for King Cayman to tell Zamora. And Zamora, I think, must have seen Azara first before she got to King Cayman and just started yelling at her for being there because as I've mentioned before, Zamora hates Azara. Like already hates her and she doesn't even know Know about the affair yet, but you know what? I think Izara is telling her about it right now. Where's Nephthys? I feel like she would have brought Nephthys here. Oh my God, Cayman is going now. Cayman's gonna go talk to Izara and Izara was already telling Zamora about the baby and the affair. And I feel like Izara is like, yeah, tell her Cayman, tell her what happened. I really think what Izara wants is the better life and the better title for her. Like the fact that her daughter is the king's daughter, like that could benefit Izara pretty well. Oh yeah, Izara is very angry too. This is an unpleasant conversation. Oh, now Zamora is angry. Oh, now Jabari's yelling at Azara. Oh my God, he probably saw her and was like, what is she doing here? No, Amira's here. Amira's not gonna be happy. Oh my gosh, Amira doesn't like Azara either. I don't I don't know, she hasn't seen them. Maybe she's trying to stay away from her. Maybe she'll take her kids, put Cedric there and then sit and chat there. Maybe Amira did see Azara and she was like, no. I'm sure Amira wants to say something, but I don't think Amira wants to cause a scene in front of everybody, unlike what Zamora and Jabari and everyone are doing. Okay, well, I'm sure Jabari was like, what is she doing here? And then Azara's probably now also telling Jabari about the baby. So yeah, anyway, we should have the uh, guards come get her because she's just causing a mess right now. I think that's what they're going to do. I think Cayman has gone to get the guards. So I think Azara's gonna get pulled out of here. I think she's gone. All right, guards pulled her away. But now Jabari's angry too. He's all riled up. Zamora, I mean, technically she's angry. There's just like nicely decorated stuff around. All right, Zamora has pulled Cayman aside is yelling at him now because now she knows the truth and Cayman should have just told her in the first place like a lot sooner but she had to hear from Azara instead oh god okay now Jabari's here too oh and Jabari's oh no this has become this has become a huge thing okay I think Jabari's like is what she's saying true oh god he's really yelling at his brother well we're gonna have to see how that goes Cayman hasn't even blown out the candles yet on the cake and this is his birthday party that's kind of the main goal the cake is up here Cayman's actually gonna have to go upstairs to blow out the candles Candles, although I don't know if now is really that great of a time. Maybe they're like, okay, I, we have to talk about this later. Like this is a, a serious conversation that they're going to have later. So let me unlock this. I just didn't want everyone wandering, but I'm gonna have King Cayman blow out the candles in the midst of all this drama. But yeah, now, oh God, Zamora walked away. Oh, Zamora, okay, Zamora's going upstairs. I think she's just pissed at this point. Oh, Jabari's angry. Jabari's really angry. I feel like he should hear out his brother a little bit though, but maybe his brother said like, yes, that's true. And then maybe Jabari was like, what the heck were you thinking? Amira, maybe you should go try to 
calm down your husband and be like, what was that all about? Amira handled herself pretty well though around Azara, I think. She just like grabbed the kids and was like, nope. Okay, Cayman has aged up into an elder. But yeah, so you guys will have to let me know what you think, but we are gonna end this episode here. So let me know what you guys think about Azara and Cayman and Samora and Jafari and that big argument that they just had. Let me know what you guys think of Han and Araminta and their proposal and the relationship with Han's family as well. Let me know what you think of our new character, Natalia and her mother, Marie. Let me know also what you think of Makai and Jessica and just all of the characters in general. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.